First, important for us to think about the pronunciation. There are two different pronunciations and both pronunciations are equal. Some people will say e, either with a strong e, neither, and some people will say i, either, neither. Either pronunciation is acceptable. Either pronunciation is acceptable. Sometimes pronunciation is a point of British English compared to American English, but this one is not. Um, it's completely random. Many people in United States say either. Many people in United States say either. Doesn't matter. A quick review of the meaning here. Remember that either means that you are getting just one out of the choices. For example, I will visit either Hornbachers or Cashwise. I am only visiting one of these stores. Neither is the negative form. Not, either, neither means that you have none of the choices. I will visit neither store. When you are saying both, it means that you are getting two of the choices. You are getting both of the choices. So the important point here is when we think about a question like, do you prefer coffee or tea? Would you like coffee or tea? If you say to me either, I am choosing coffee or tea. If you say to me both are fine, I am bringing to you two cups for both. Would you like either coffee or tea? Thanks, I'd love to have either one. You're getting one drink, you don't care which drink. No thanks, neither coffee nor tea. Could I have water instead? No coffee, no tea. Thanks, I love both. You get two drinks when you say both. Uh, very often we will see either connected with or, and neither connected with nor, either my husband or I will pick her up. We don't know which one, but one of us will. Neither my husband nor I will pick her up. Both of us cannot. Both my husband and I will pick her up. The two of us together in the same car will pick her up. However, you can see these words alone. For example, you can use either book. You can use either book. I ordered two books. Neither of the books has arrived yet. Neither of the books has arrived yet. Okay, now I have told you that either and neither are opposite. And this is true 99% of the time. However, there is one exception. I am sorry for English. As always, I apologize on behalf of the English language. Um, when, when you have a negative sentence, for example, I will not visit the store. And I agree with your negative sentence. I want to say, I also will not visit the store. Now, a positive sentence, I will visit the store, me too. I can help, me too. I love this food, me too. A positive sentence. A negative sentence, I will not visit the store, I also will not visit the store. I can say me either, and I can also say me neither. In this small piece of grammar, either and neither are identical. I'm sorry. I will not visit the store. Me neither. I cannot help you. Me either. I, I didn't go yesterday. Me neither. I also for your negative sentence. 
All right, students, you know this question from my classroom. How's your brain feeling? Do you have any questions? Leave me some sentences in the comments practicing with either, either, neither, neither, and the word both. Leave me some questions, leave me some sentences, practice, practice, practice. Remember, the best way that we can improve our English is to repeat, repeat, repeat again and again. Until next time, students, bye.